There is no doubt that the MiG-25 Foxbat was a jet fighter so formidable, it effectively immunized Soviet airspace. It protected the motherland so well that it prompted the US to entirely rethink how they design and build aircraft. So what made the MiG-25 so damn good? In today's video, we're taking a look at the infamous MiG-25 jet fighter, how it works, its furiously fast capabilities, and why it's been arguably the best jet fighter in the last 50 years. Okay, so where were we? On the 6th of March, 1964, a new generation of Russian jet fighter made its maiden test flight, which was a success. It wasn't until 1970 that serial production started in full swing, as there were a few design kinks to iron out first. Up until 2005, private citizens could take a ride in one at the Zhukovsky Air Base near Moscow for a hefty fee, and feel for themselves why this plane was an absolute masterpiece and well ahead of its time. What can it do? Even in design phase, it was clear that the MiG-25 was going to be a craft that would rewrite the book on what was possible in terms of speed, handling, and altitude. Though it had a practical speed of Mach 2.8, the MiG-25 was capable of flying at a safe altitude of 65,000 feet, which put it well out of the reach of modern aircraft at the time. In a pinch, it could boost to Mach 3.2 and climb in excess of 100,000 feet, although this resulted in almost certain damage to the engines, and exponentially increased the risk of catastrophic failure. The engines were so powerful that the MiG-25 blew up its engines at high speed, as the air was entering so fast it could crack and warp thruster components. It was very successful in the global arms market, serving in the air forces of over a dozen countries and seeing combat in Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. Though it did not see much action while in Soviet service, it did fly during the Cold War and post-Cold War conflicts. It carried an armament of four radar-guided missiles and four heat-seeking missiles with an effective range of 50 miles. It was responsible for mowing down and killing the last U.S. fighter shot down during air-to-air -air combat, an F-18. In 2002, a U.S. Predator drone that strayed into controlled airspace was also shot down demonstrating that the MiG-25 still had impressive speed, performing excellently to chase down the speeded unmanned plane. The MiG-25 broke many records, one of which being the highest altitude ever recorded by a jet engine craft. In the August of 1977, test pilot Alexander Fedotov successfully achieved an altitude of 123,525 feet above the Earth. What makes it so fast? The MiG-25 airframe design had never been seen before in the history of high-speed jet fighters. It featured square, lateral air intakes with a horizontal intake ramp and engines located at the very rear, twin side-by-side -side tail fins and a pair of thin, trapezoidal, low aspect ratio wings gave it the geometry and shape to accelerate the record speed while maintaining a level of maneuverability unrivaled for decades. The engine design was similar to a rat rod style of car in the sense that it's a bulky, heavy frame driven by an insanely powerful engine that it could barely handle. The MiG-25 looked unkept, the rivet heads were full of grime and looked like they needed to be tightened, and the grey color was often dirty. Despite this outward's appearance, the two monstrous engines at its rear painted a picture of just how advanced jet propulsion systems were in the Cold War era USSR. The Fox Bats were shaped like a hypersonic space needle, almost like the most aerodynamic paper plane you could make with two of the most powerful engines strapped to it. The Tumansky R-15 turbojet still remains one of the most powerful engines ever made. It had huge intakes at the front of the motor, gaping mouths hungry for as much oxygen as possible in order to feed the high output combustion happening inside. Each one put out over 24,000 pound-feet of thrust force at afterburner, launching the jet fighter ahead at frightening speed. It was almost too powerful. At high speeds, the ravenous engine would continue to chew up oxygen and jet fuel at an uncontrollable and increasing rate until it tore itself apart. This was in part due to the fact that above speeds of 2,000 miles per hour, the fuel pumps would need to dump fuel into the combustion chamber above their capacity, no longer being able to control the reaction. Instead, just struggling to keep up with the fuel needed to match the air speeding inside. Why it was the best jet fighter for 50 years. The MiG-25 has the legacy of being arguably the most feared fighter jet of any in history. 
As the West was unsure of its true capabilities, it achieved a legendary status partially due to a gross overestimation of its combat prowess. But just because it was overstated does not mean that it underperformed, not in the slightest. Onboard Electronics assisted the pilot by providing a semi-automatic tracking mode. The MiG-25 could be guided to a target, which was extremely beneficial considering the high approach speeds needed a response time way faster than the human reflex could provide. Despite the US using titanium in the flagship Blackbird SR-71 to counter the incredible heat generated by traveling at hypersonic speeds, the MiG-25 comprised of 80% steel components. The other 20% were titanium alloys, used in the areas that needed to be heatproof. This gave the MiG-25 the advantage in being both easier and cheaper to mass produce, resulting in a high number manufactured. The build quality was excellent. There are 3 miles of welded seams in a MiG-25, and over 1.4 million weld points. In a single production year, in 90 MiG-25s produced by the USSR, only two insignificant fuel leaks were discovered. Though the F-15 had a twin tail fin design based on the MiG-25, it was developed to counter the Russian jet fighter. It did not come anywhere close in terms of speed, handling, or cruise altitude. The radar system used overly powerful vacuum tubes in lieu of electronics and, as a result, could survive being fried from an electromagnetic pulse released from a nuclear explosion. It was rumored that the radar was so strong that the energy it threw out would kill rabbits close to the runway. Combat Prowess The MiG-25 saw limited combat under USSR control, but did feature heavily in other armed conflicts as a part of foreign armies. It made a name for itself when it outflew Israeli fighters and evaded their missile fire. Though years later in the Lebanon War, the Israeli fighters got their payback when they downed several Syrian-flown Foxbats. During the Syrian Civil War, the versatility of the Foxbats was put to the test when they used air-to-air -air missiles to creatively take out high-value ground support targets. In the Iran-Iraq War, the Iraqi-piloted MiG-25s had a field day, devouring the aging Iranian fighter jets. The only craft to give them a run for their money was the F-14s, which did manage to take down a few. Someone Stole One A mysterious gray aircraft sporting the red stars of the Soviet Union appeared in the skies above the city of Hakodate in Japan. It was on a trajectory to land on a nearby commercial runway, but to everyone's surprise, the runway was too short, causing the twin-engine jet fighter to smash its way through hundreds of feet of dirt and undergrowth before grinding to a halt near the airport's perimeter fence. Light Lieutenant Viktor Ivanovich Belenko had flown over 400 miles in a stolen, ultra-secretive state-of-the-art machine of war deep into enemy territory, with the express desire to defect to the West. He had been, by all accounts, a model citizen of the Soviet Union. He excelled in the military and was rewarded by enjoying the status associated with being a fighter pilot in a militaristic society. The man was looking down the barrel of a nasty divorce, which caused him to question everything. The communist way of life, how Soviet propaganda portrayed the West, and if there was a better life out there for him. The solution? To make his escape in the brand new fighter he was sworn to defend his country in. During an unarmed training mission, he broke formation from the rest of his squadron, flying at the insanely low altitude of just 100 feet above the ocean waves in order to evade the radar detectors of both sides. By the time Japanese fighters were scrambled, the MiG-25 had already made its crash landing, with the bewildered pilot shooting warning shots up in the air as he crawled out of the cockpit. The CIA quickly swarmed all over the Hakodate airfield and its precious cargo, keen to study it to see just how advanced the Soviet craft was. They happily offered the pilot political asylum in exchange for information. The Japanese even had the audacity to partially reassemble the MiG-25, load it on a boat, and charge the USSR $40,000 to pay the shipping bill and repairs to the damaged airport runway. Why it was built Before this defection in 1976, all the US and its allies knew of the new Cold War era fighter was that it definitely existed, but no other information on any of its combat or flight capabilities. The Israelis detected an unidentified aircraft flying at a speed of Mach 3.2, flying up at 63,000 feet at over three times the speed of sound. 
their fighters couldn't even get close to it, and the MiG-25 was well out of range of their missiles before they exploded. The MiG-25 was built as a direct response to the F-108 fighter. SR-71 Blackbird spy plane and B-70 bomber developed by the US Air Force in the 1960s, as they all had one thing in common. They could all fly at three times the speed of sounds. It was originally designed to replace the ineffective Su-15 and MiG-21 jet fighters in order to take on the XB-70 Valkyrie strategic bombers. The perceived threat was that the bomber could be used by the Americans to execute a tactical nuclear strike on the USSR, so they had to have a jet fighter capable of meeting the threat head-on extremely quickly and being able to nullify it before it crossed into friendly territory. After the defection, the MiG-25 received a total electronic overhaul and system upgrade as the enemy now had knowledge of its combat effectiveness. The subsequent MiG-25 PD had a more modern target locating and tracking system, which actually made it more deadly. In short, the MiG-25 was built to kill a US Air Force supersonic bomber that never actually made it into production. A sigh of relief. The Joint Chiefs of Staff in the Pentagon must have felt relieved once the wreckage of the MiG-25 was examined and Belenko had been properly debriefed. It seems that the mystery jet picked up over Israel exceeding Mach 3.2 had effectively destroyed its engines in the process. The Russian pilots were warned to never exceed Mach 2.8 or risk catastrophic engine failure. In comparison, the Blackbird could fly at those speeds all day without trouble. The US thought the MiG-25 fighter could maintain those speeds while remaining extremely agile, which forced them to be truly innovative in the development of the F-15 Eagle, which in itself was groundbreaking and is still in service around the world 40 years later. The MiG-25's legacy is that it inspired so much fear in the West that it led to the development of a whole new next generation of fighter jet, even if in reality, it did not live up to its fictional hype. And that's all the time we have for today's video. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at the history, specs, and capabilities of the legendary MiG-25. Please give this video a like if you learned something new and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another amazing video from Insane Reality. See you next time!